Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be doing a classic cherry cake. The recipe is below the video in the description and also your recipe is. Please subscribe and please share. Now as most of you know cherry cake is a wonderful thing where sometimes you get the chairs at the bottom of the cake and sometimes they do do what they want to do. Now a lot of people don't realize but actually the best way of making sure your cherries do float and not sink is to make sure they're washed and dried first even if you do it a day before wash them dry them out and just leave them another little one that's old school they always seem to think just just rolling around in flour well that's okay as long as they've been washed first because obviously if they're all sticking gunked up with glue and all this sticky stuff the first thing it's going to do is get covered in flour and go woof to the bottom. So also there's other reasons why cherries sink and one of them actual consistency is a little bit too soft. They can also sink but generally speaking they do float most of the time if you're using the correct cherries. I do sell the correct cherries. You can get them from my Facebook page. They're what I call confectionery cherries which are very very good quality ones and they do they do float and they don't sink anyway we'll get right on with the video and for your recipe you want 200 grams of butter 250 grams of cherries, 200 grams of plain flour, 85 grams of ground almonds, 200 grams of caster sugar, 175 grams of egg, grated rind of a lemon and the lemon juice, and five grams of baking powder. Right, first job guys, put your butter into the bowl, add your sugar in. Now we'll pop this onto the machine and you'll want to be mixing this to start with on first speed and then knock it up to six speed. Whilst that's mixing, what we'll do is sieve the ground almonds. And now we're going to sieve the plain flour. This plain flour always seems to have a lot of lumps in it. get all the bits through the sieve right now what we're going to do is add the cherries in the crowned almonds and then we're going to mix this round with your hands so get all the cherries covered in almonds now we're adding in a spoonful of flour now we're going to get all of this mixed together So it's all covered, every cherry is all covered in the mixture. Add in your baking powder into your flour. Right now we're going to give this a scrape down. Get all the butter and the sugar off the base. Now we're going to put that back on to six speed. Now what you want to do is make sure this is getting nice and light. When it's white you know it's ready. Now we're going to start adding in the egg. Now you want to be adding the egg in over five minutes. And halfway through we're going to scrape it down. and get off all the butter and it helps to stop the egg curdling and if you do get egg that curdles you can always add a little bit of flour in that actually eradicates the curdling now we'll carry on adding in the egg add a bit in and then let it clear and then we do the same again So 
Add your egg in, let it clear. That's all the egg in now. And what we're going to do now is stop the machine and give it a good scrape down. Because with these smaller bowls, they always tend to leave the fat and the sugar on the base. So you're really getting it all mixed in well. Now I'm going to pop it back onto the machine. Now I'm going to mix this once again for around five minutes on six speed. There it is, as you can see, it's all nice creaming up. Right, we'll get off the machine. We'll give this a bit of a scrape down first. And now what we're going to do is add in the cherries and the almonds. Then we're going to add in your flour with your baking powder and also your grated rinds. And pop in your lemon juice. Now all we're going to do now guys is fold this in. Fold it over. Fold it over. And we're going to keep doing this until it all clears. And by being gentle with this you're actually keeping the volume in it. So once it, it bakes, it doesn't come out flat. See it just folded over. Right, almost there. That's it. Right, next job we'll get our tin ready. So the best idea is to get yourself some baking parchment. What I do is I always do the base of the tin first. Then I lay the tin on the side and then I run a knife down so I get two of these parts. And then this is your two sides. It's basically making it in three parts than just trying to squash it all in as one. And there we go, guys. Right, now we'll get our mixture into the tin now I'm going to use my hand you can use your hand the same if you want it just makes it go into the tin bar and this is the way we do it in the bakery industry we've been doing it for years using your hands and then just use your spatula to level it all out then on the top of this guys you can put some crushed cubes of sugar or granulated sugar and now on the top we're going to put some cherries because cherry cakes always look better if it's got that nice cherries on the top Right now we're ready for the oven. Your preheated oven should be 180 Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit. And we're going to be baking these in the, here in the oven for around about one hour to one hour and a quarter or until you can put a knife in it. And if it's clear, it's ready. We'll get them out. Now what's the best way of testing them is pop a knife into the cake and then gently pull it out and if it's clear, it's ready. 
And there we go, guys. Now, all we're going to do now is cool this down. Once it's cool, you can take it out of the tin. Get rid of all your papers. Let it cool right down. A good half an hour to an hour. And we're almost there. Right now what we're going to do, cut off the end. And I'm going to cut this into pieces. There you go guys, it's as easy as that. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. It just proves the point. Cherries have got a mind of their own, guys. Yep, please subscribe and please share. Do check out the description below for your recipe. Also, the links for my Facebook page and also purchases down below if you want anything down in the description. And you can always leave me a comment in the comments below if you like. Anyway, we'll see you again very shortly. Laters! <music>